Hello, my name is Ryan Cole. Here to talk to you about nonverbal communication. Okay, how do we interpret communication? Interpretation is an active, creative process we use to make sense of an experience. Rules that guide communication. Communication rules shared understanding of what communication means and what behaviors are appropriate in different situations. Regulative rules that regulate the interaction by specifying when and how, where and whom to talk about certain things, such as what in some cultures may find inappropriate, some may think it's opposite to that. Consecutive rules uh, are rules that specify how certain communicative acts are to be counted such as showing respect or rudeness towards each other. How punctuation affects the meaning. We punctuate communication to interpret our meaning. Communication is ambiguous. It can have one or more interpretations, such as saying, what's up, to someone. In some cultures, it may be, what is up above you. In others, it may mean, hey, how are you doing? Or, what have you been up to? Nonverbal behavior interacts with verbal communication. For example, you might say yes and nodding, nodding at your head at the same time. Nonverbal communication regulates interactions. Nonverbal cues tells us when someone else is finished talking. Establishes relationships, uh, meaning nonverbal communication can be powerful in expressing relationships. Um, can reflect cultural values, such as if you were to communicate with an autistic kid, per se, you could use these tips from Community Practitioners 2017 from Laura Herbe. Offer hand gestures, such as clapping, signs, or note cards. Get on their level. It can make adults feel friendly. Keep on talking to them and let them know what is going on, even though they may not be able to speak. They may have, they might have better receptive language and expressive language. We're gonna show a quick video of some, you know, nonverbal communication. It's a it's a pretty funny one. If you can uh, hear the uh, dialogue on it. Okay. <clears throat> Turn it all the way. See, that's a good interpretation of, you know, using nonverbal language, hands, hand gestures, signs, you know, making like what he did with the gunshot, with the making shots for their espresso. Okay. There are 10 types of nonverbal behavior. Some of the topics are kines kinesics. A person who stands erect and appears confident announces self-assurance. Someone who slouches and shuffles may seem like they aren't sure of themselves. You know, physical appearance. We first notice obvious physical features such as their sex, their gender, skin color, and size. Based on physical features, we may make inferences about others' personalities. Olfactus. That means smell. For example, the smell of flesh of freshly baked cookies. Or bread may make us feel happy and hungry. Artifacts or 
personal objects, women often wear makeup, tight clothing, and carry purses, whereas men wear loose and clo loose clothing and carry wallets. Proximix, personal space. We stand about 4, 12 feet from social acquaintances, 18 inches or less from friends or romantic partners. It's more, it's pretty important to uh, know uh, someone's personal space. Some people might feel that they are, you know, their personal, personal space is invaded if you're closer than four feet to them. Silence. They can communicate such as, I'm not speaking to you. I'm mad at you. So that, that's one cue of, uh, of the uh, nonverbal behaviors. It is important to know nonverbal behaviors because first responders deal with people that may not be able to speak, but having certain gestures can indicate what is wrong. For example, a choking person will grasp their throat and begin to gasp for air. That is a good indication that they cannot breathe and need help. So therefore, uh, so it's important to know how to communicate with other with one another. We use different types of communication daily. This can help your communication skills and, and how well you communicate with others. Now, thank you for your time, and that concludes my speech.